Yo, what's poppin' YouTube world? It's your boy Sneaky Free 88 coming to you with a new pickup slash uh, Air Jordan blog number two. Um, I got two sneakers to talk about, so I'm gonna try to get uh, right into it. Uh, these were the sneakers that, that I was telling you about from my last video. These are the Air Jordan, I mean the Nike Air Zoom LeBron Sevens, but these are the All Star editions. Um, these are definitely exclusive. These are definitely limited edition. I was lucky to find these in kids. Uh, I called everywhere for these. I called Nike Town, New York. I called Connecticut. I called places in New York. I called all the Foot Lockers in the region. Nobody had these, but I happened to. Um, luckily, I was on on a break with my coworker today, and I happened to go into Sneaker Villain. I happened to find these. So big ups to Sneaker Villain, the gallery uh, in Philly. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into the sneaker. Uh, as you can see, let me just move up just a little bit. As you can see. Um, it looks like it has like a little wood grain material. That's uh, the inspiration that LeBron said he got from these. You know, he, he wanted to make it like the hardwood. So it feels sort of like, you know, like a grainy material around the toe box and, of course, around the sneaker. Uh, it has a 360 air bubble um, around the whole sneaker, so it makes it very, very comfortable. It's a very, very light, light sneaker. Um, I'm not really sure what this part is exactly, but it's like a little plastic cross check. Very, very thin, you know, so it makes the sneaker light. Um, it has, of course, the black laces on the tongue. It has the uh, LeBron signature on this sneaker. It has East, but it's in, instead of having like a lace lock, it actually this emblem is actually glued onto the uh, uh, lace, which I actually like. Um, one of the good things about these sneakers also it has um, another lace color, which is the light blue of the actual sneaker. Um, another thing with these sneakers are on the inside. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it says East um, Hardwood um, 2010 All-Star Game, um, Dallas, Texas. Of course, that's where the All-Star Game was this year. Well, LeBron went with bananas. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are these are definitely to me the hottest LeBrons out right now of the sevens. I'm going to try to get the red and white ones, the black ones, and the navy blue and white ones. But, you know, that's for another time. There's no rush to get them. I was really hyped to get these. So, big ups to Sneaker Villa again. And of course, as promised, I'm gonna keep these Jordan blogs rolling. Uh, and as you all know, these are the Air Jordan Twos from the Countdown Pack. This Countdown Pack came out in March of 2008. Uh, just a little brief history on this Air Jordan Two. The Air Jordan Two was first released in 1986. The makers of these sneakers, or the designers of these sneakers, were uh, Bruce Kilgore and Peter Moore. Peter Moore, of course, was the designer of the Air Jordan One. Um, these two would not design any more Jordans after the Air Jordan 2. Um, yeah, uh, this sneaker was actually, all, all the originals were manufactured in Italy uh, because they, they got their inspiration from the Italian boot, so to speak. Uh, all these sneakers were manufactured in Italy, the originals at least. Um, like I said, it was, it was a, you know, new state-of-the-art sneaker, something that, you know, they, that they never seen. It was more considered to be fashionable than actually worn on a basketball court. Um, other than that, um, just a few interesting facts that, that I thought I, I'd let you guys know on. Um, Jordan scored 63 points wearing these sneakers. I don't know if it was this exact colorway. I'll have to get back to you. I don't know. But I know he scored 63 points. Um, that was his, like, greatest accomplishment wearing these sneakers. He scored 63 points. Um... The original, the prototype of this sneaker was actually stolen in Italy. So when Jordan re-released these in 1994-1995, they had to dissect Jordan's, like Jordan's actual, his sneaker. They had to dissect his sneaker so Nike, so that Nike could actually make the sneaker, you know, as close to, um, as possible as the original one. So, um, yeah, uh, these were the, the original colorway. This colorway right here was the original colorway. The Bulls colorway didn't come out until 1990, I'm sorry, uh, 1987, um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, just the, the uh, just just a little brief description of these. They didn't have the Jumpman logo yet. The Jumpman logo didn't appear until the Air Jordan uh, 3. But they had the Wings logo, the 23, and the Wings logo on the back. Of course, it had the I'm sorry, the Air Jordan and the Wings logo. It had the Nike on the back. Uh, this part was considered to be like a um, a lizard skin. They they got that um, idea from like the lizard skin. Uh, this is pretty much basic a basic sneaker. Of course, Nike was still the you know sole uh, I guess look of the sneaker. Like I said, the Jumpman wasn't added until the Air Jordan Three. Um, yeah, that's basically about it about the Air Jordan Two. Some upcoming releases. I know they're supposed to be retro and the Bulls Twos. I think they come out in April. I'm not really, really sure. I have to get back to y'all with an exact date. But I know they're coming out soon. And the White and Seaman 3s are coming out in May, I believe. 
Um, so we got some 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 heat coming out soon. Um, that's basically it. Uh, the next block. Jordan Black you see of course will be the Air Jordan 3. Um, I only own one pair of the Air Jordan ones. I had two pairs. I had the low top of these two, but I gave them away to somebody. So um, I now right now only own one pair of Air Jordan 2s. I'll probably get some more later. Um, other than that, I believe that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. So continue to you know show love. I appreciate everybody showing love. Oh, shout out to my man Chris Morris. He definitely been showing me love on these blogs. Um, he definitely trying to get his blog back up. So um, shout out to him. He doing his thing and. Um, uh, shout out to everybody that's been showing me love on these blogs and been following me on Twitter and you know been commenting on my stuff. I really appreciate the love. I really appreciate the respect and, and the support. I'm gonna definitely keep them coming. You know, as long as y'all keep showing me love, I'm gonna definitely keep them coming. So uh, follow me on Twitter. I know the drill. Uh, Twitter.com forward slash sneaker freak. Again, that's Twitter.com forward slash sneaker freak. And that's it. This is Sneaker Freak 88, and I'm signing out.